What is going on internet? This is another video coming at you from Redskins Rant Health for the Redskins. Um, before I get started, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button. It has been a very good last couple weeks for this channel. We have now hit over 400 subscribers. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but before um, I posted a video about the name change, <sighs> excuse me, um, I only had about 270. So it's been a kind of a big jump. It's been a big deal for me. So, um, first off, this video I will not be commenting on all the allegations and sexual assault things coming out of these out of uh, Washington, out of um, the Redskins, and I'll call them the Redskins till they have another name. So I'm going to clarify that. Um, I want to comment on that until I have all the facts. I don't want to say anything too early or too or whatever i'll wait till all the facts are out there and then i'll i'll have my uh two cents on it um early just early guess on it is uh, a little bit upset about it about everything going on um i saw a, a post on facebook today it said uh it was a it was will smith with a sad face and it said uh um, comment your uh, most disappointing moment as, uh, as for your team or whatever and I said I'm a Redskin fan so right at this very moment it's the most disappointing moment I've ever had in which it is I'm very disappointed on the name change I'm disappointed on the uh, conduct of our team but um, like I said I won't comment anymore on that um, I will tell you right now if you hear me I'm kind of quiet because I'm making this video at this moment I'm on vacation. I'm in the Outer Banks, so I haven't posted any videos in almost a week. Um, I, I come home tomorrow, but I thought I'd post a video about some of the things going on. And I'm not going to get too much into detail. It, it does suck right now that uh, Calvin Harmon towards ACL. Um, everyone's clamoring for Antonio Brown or, um, or Josh Gordon to get signed. I keep yawning. So, um, my, I, I really don't want to sign any of them. Both of them are going to be problems. Gordon won't finish the season because he can't stay off drugs. Antonio Brown will be a problem. Now, the thing with Antonio Brown is if he come in, he'll be at least be productive. Um, he'll be productive. He'll always be open. Um, he'll take a lot of attention off Hart, off McLaurin. He'll take a lot of attention off Gandy Golden. Um, but he'll also take a lot of the opportunities away from those two as well. So that it's kind of a double-edged sword, and he can also be a big locker room problem. Just really depends. We have the money to get anyone we want, but that's kind of like where we're at with it right now. Um, what would I do? I would just keep Trey Quinn. Um, right now, if we had to pick our top three receivers at this moment, um, it, it doesn't change. To me, it was... Calvin, it was Terry McLaurin was number one. Number two is uh, um, Steve Sims, Stephen Sims. Number three was Antonio Gandy Golden. Number four was going to be Kelvin Harmon, and number five was going to be Isaiah Wright. Um, now we don't have Kelvin Harmon, and Kelvin Harmon was going to be rotating in and out with Gandy Golden. Um, so now what do we do? So we can a couple options. I mean, we can always assign Josh Gordon. My water bottle just fell. Um, I caught it. We can sign Josh Gordon. We can go with Antonio Brown. Um, I think um, both of them will be... I think the, the best of the two to go with is uh, Antonio Brown. He will be the most productive, by far. He'll take a lot of attention. Um, that's that's the smartest route to go. Um, you could also just go with Trey Quinn. Trey Quinn um, knows the quarterback. He's played with Wayne Haskins. You don't have to worry about familiarity. It's not going to be a locker room issue. And then next year, we can actually worry about, because um, this year we're not really going all in to like, make the playoffs or win a Super Bowl or anything. Um, I think we can. I think we have the, the tools to do a lot of that. I mean, just throwing together in one year is going to be an issue. But because we don't have like uh, the mini camps and everything, I think we, the best route maybe just go with Trey Quinn. And um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I, I, don't, I, I, I think... If we if we go any if the best possible route is to go with Antonio Brown, and if he's like a model citizen and everything, that's a great move. But 
but you also got to factor in. He could he could also ruin the locker room, and we have to deal with that. Um, Josh Gordon, I don't. Josh Gordon's not going to ruin a locker room, but he just he's not reliable. That's the problem with Josh Gordon. So that's why I say go with Trey Quinn. If he gets injured, you know that's just him, and you can just stick with um, Cam Sims um, um, to back him up on our practice squad. Um, I'm sure we have a couple other guys we could book, you know, Kids B or whatever his name is. We have guys that are there that we can always play. I mean, if you're worried about us winning the Super Bowl this year, yeah, you might want to go get Antonio Brown. But if you're just worried about us getting through the season and getting young guys experience, I don't think, I think the priority for Ron Rivera is seeing what we got. So he's probably going to play Trey Quinn. He's going to play Cam Sims and see what he's got. Um... So that's just my thoughts on that. I do want to go over a couple other uh, things. So if I haven't made it clear, when it comes to changing the name, I think the Washington Redskins should go change their name to the Washington Red Wolves. Do I want them to change their name at all? Hell no. I think it should be the Redskins till the day I die. But it doesn't seem to be the case. And rather than fight the, cha- fight the, uh, fight the crazy, I'm going to embrace it. And I think the Red Wolves are the best option. Like I've, I've explained in, in videos before, I don't think that um, I don't think the Warriors is a good option. I have a couple concepts here I'm going to go over. Um, I think the Warriors is a terrible option. I've seen actually one good version of the Warriors that I've liked the the jersey and the helmet. So I don't dislike that version. I just don't like the name Warriors. I think you lose the HTTR. You lose a lot of those things. I don't like Red Tails. I think Red Tails is, is not the worst option. I would not um, hate it, but I think I hate here so much when people beat us. You know, you know I have a Red Tail. You got spanked. Um, I don't like that. I think the, the Warriors is a safe option. Um, and uh, I think the Washington Red Tails is... I think we'd have to change our color scheme. Which is why, I, I mean, I don't hate that. Our color scheme is good. It's not the greatest, but it's not, not the worst either. Um, I think the best option with the color scheme is uh, um, stick with what we have. And I think the red tails goes up. Now I want to tell you guys about something. The picture I have here is is not, it's a red skin concept that I saw. It's not one that's actually out there. It's not an, it's not an option I think we should go with. Um, I like it. If we were like the Red Hawks or the, the War Hawks, I think that would be a perfect uh, jersey or a helmet because it's like that on the other side too. But that's not what we are. So I'm going to go over some. I have like a lot of pictures, like 70 some pictures. And I'll go over a couple of things. So there's a, a lot of things that I've seen. Let's see here. So there's the Red Wolves. We definitely won't go with that one. Um, Dan, Dan Snyder basically has said no Native American imagery. He's probably just telling Native Americans, and you know, not in this term, but basically the most obvious way I can word it is, hey, piss on you guys. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. You know, I represent you guys for years, and you just throw it back in my face, and you're going to try to tell me you want to represent it, but in a certain way and have guidelines. No, I just don't want to do it. So that one, and I like the jersey here, but the helmet won't work. I like this one. I do have a favorite now, though. This one's not bad. I really do like this one. It's pretty cool. Jersey, I actually like this one right here. I like the dark one the best. I don't like the... The red one's not bad, but I don't like the... I don't like the red with the yellow pants. I like the red, black, and black. I like this one the best. I really do. Um, of these. There's probably better ones out there, but... That's a concept. That's okay. That's a red tail concept that I don't hate. But if you imagine this, and I'm not going to, I can't do it because I'm not good enough with like computers. But imagine if you will, instead of having it um, yellow, imagine that plane's blue with a red tip and a red tail and then the white in, in there. I think that would look significantly better. And I think that would be the color scheme we go with. Oh, my bad. I clicked the wrong thing. Okay. Apologize about that. Um, this one's not bad. This is very basic, but they wouldn't have the uh, feathers. This is just, this is not one that I think they would do, the Washington, D.C. Bison. Um, I didn't hate the concepts. That's why I saved it. 
Now this is the Washington Warriors concept I didn't hate. It has the monument in it, it has the three stars. Um, but really not, not my favorite. But it doesn't look bad. This one doesn't look horrible. This is another Red Tail or Red Wolves uh, logo. Another one with the wolf in between it. I don't know if you can see the wolf right there. This one's not bad. Now this is a map. This was done like three week, two weeks ago at least. I think it was like at least two weeks ago. This has drastically changed. Um, this is how it was when like it first came out, and now I'm pretty sure that Red Wolves has drastically shifted, and it, it's the dominant uh, name right now. Uh, Red Wolves. That, that, I like this concept. I like it. Uh, there's another color scheme with this concept that I'll show here in a minute. Now this is going off of Twitter traffic, and it is significantly Red Wolves heavy when it comes to this. Warriors is only 12%, Red Tails 23, and everything else is encompassing the rest of this. Like literally, the Red Wolves take up more space than all these other names. Like these Red Wolves take up more than the Red, the other Red Hawks, the Natives, the Americans, the Renegades, Hogs, Pigskins, and Red Tails. It encompasses all of that. It outnumbers more than all those other options combined. That one's not a bad option, but the only problem I have with these color schemes, they look way too much like a certain color scheme that I don't like. Um, S, uh, South, uh, is it SCU? South Carolina? USC? It's University of South Carolina. There we go. I don't like their color schemes. I don't like the Trojans' color schemes. I just personally don't. Nothing against it. just don't like it. Red Wolves, this is more up my alley. Um, black, but I would like red letters, and I like yellow trim around it. I think that would be the better option. Yellow trim around the letters, the letters inside the letters would be actually red, and then yellow claw marks as well. This one's not bad. Not a bad logo, it's not my favorite yet. These aren't bad either. This one isn't bad either, we keep sticking with our similar to our current logo. This jersey concept doesn't suck. I don't hate it. Uh, that's just something I saw. I don't hate this either. I really don't hate the jersey aspect. I don't like the helmet as much, but I think the jersey is pretty cool. It's not as intimidating, the helmet aspect. Well, that same thing, but different color. And this is what they look like now. I'm not posting that. Red wolves. That looks way too much like a husky. It doesn't look. Or doesn't look. It looks way too tame. We don't want to be tame. We want something a little more intimidating. Yeah, let's get through these. Okay. All right, this was Fred Smoot. This is a quote. Um. So yeah, like a lot of old NFL or old players have like jumped on this as well. I can just see FedEx Field with 80,000 people howling like wolves. I uh, see that too. This is kind of like. Some people have taken some uh, liberties when it comes to making these. This is not one of my favorites at all. It looks like it looks like a Pokemon more than anything. Um, this one right here, I like this one. This is one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Not so much the helmet logo, but one of my favorites. I do see the logo there. If you see it, it's a wolf inside, like the Capitol building for the W and three stars. And what that symbolizes is. There's an elite helicopter crew called the Red Wolves in the part of the Navy SEALs. So it double, it's a double entendre when it comes to Red Wolves the animal, Red Wolves the... Um, it might not be a double entendre. Maybe I have the, the definition of double entendre wrong. Um, but it gives you both options. It gives It's two things. Um, Red Wolves not bad here. I don't like the gray. I really don't. Um, this is getting up my alley of close to what I like. Um, there's one that's like really, really good, and I'll get to that here in a minute. This one's not bad though. Not that one. This is this okay. This one's pretty close to what I want. It's more intimidating. Um, these are not horrible, but they're really weird. They have like football eyes and the Washington Monument. I don't like it. The helmet's not bad, but I just don't like it personally. This one's really good. I love this one. This is not my favorite yet. I'll get to my favorite here in a minute. This is another good one. 
Um, just some Red Wolves black jersey concept with Chase Young. Uh, Red Wolves white and red jersey concepts with uh, Dwayne Haskins. And this one's the one with Terry McLaurin. So I like these. These are pretty cool. I don't like the W. I think it's very lame. It's another wolf that's not bad. Um, that's the same thing. Um, Red Wolves, that's not bad either. This is the most awesomest helmet I've ever seen in my life. It's really cool. Um, we'll probably never go with that. It's, I think it's a little too much. Um, especially for an NFL team. Maybe for a college team they do it. Or maybe for like an AFL or they come back out with the XFL. Something like that, but not that. Um, don't hate the jersey concept here. Don't hate it. This one's the better one. Um, like I said, the mascot's not bad. Um, that one's kind of okay because that's the three stars for that squad. It's another decent one. That logo is still there. I don't like the red though. The way it's it's all red with no dark colors. That one's not bad. I'm trying to find the one. This is the one. I think this would be the best logo possible. Because it definitely buys into all. Both of the concepts. The wolf with the three stars. With the um, two lines. Which is. I guess that's a representation of the military. And it would encompass both of those things. This one's not horrible. Um, I don't wouldn't go with any of these logos here. Uh, they're maybe the main one. Um, I don't know what this came from. The dark. So I guess they went all the way dark with what I wanted. Um, they need a little more red than that for sure. Or burgundy. This one's not bad. I didn't hate this one. This is actually kind of close to my main picture. With the feathers. So I kind of like that one a decent amount. This is probably my favorite one so far. I think it encompasses a lot of the things we have, and I pr probably won't ever get done because there's a spear right here. I think it's intended to make it look like a spear. I like it, and I also like how it looks on a jersey or a helmet. Look how that looks on the helmet. I think the helmet in this case would probably be uh, yellow, though. Or black. That would look really good on black. Let me, let me check that. That would be really nice on black. Um, so yeah. So here are a couple concepts for others. So here's like a bird, red tails. Which, no, I don't want to go with that. Um, red wolves. This is the Warriors. Now this is the only Warriors um, concept that I've actually liked. If this was our mascot, I can get a little bit more on board with that. I could really get on board with that because that looks badass. Um, here's another one for red tails. I don't like red tails, but I still want to be fair and give them some concept. I think they've come out with some pretty good ideas for some of the stuff. Um, it's not showing the front. There's one on the, with the one on the front where they have like it looks like there's wings going from like their chest to their shoulder. Those look pretty cool. But um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, all the concepts I want to go over. Um, like I said, this is probably my favorite. Um, I just want the name announced. That's what I'm at this point. I just want the name announced. What are, What is our team name? Are we the Washington Renegades? Are we the Washington Redhawks? Are we the Washington Red Tails? Are we the Washington Red Wolves? I'm praying it's Washington Red Wolves. I really want to get behind that. I want to go to games. I want to be one as a as a fan. Dumb howl every time. Um, every time Chase Young gets a sack or Kerrigan, or whatever, I mean, every fan group has like the dog pound, um, they have like the sixth man, we can be the wolf pack. I like that. Um, what do you, what do you, what's your thoughts? What do you think the team name should be? I and, um, uh, comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, now that I've hit for over 410 my, uh, I, my I keep striving for the next goal next goal is 450 and then 500 and so on and so forth um, if the team name changes I don't know if I'm going to change the name of this podcast um, I, I might change it to the, like Red Wolf something I might I'm not sure yet I don't even know if I can if I don't have enough subscribers um, but 
Um, yeah, that's that's what I want to. That's that's what I want. I want the Red Wolves. Um, what do you guys want? Um, I I did a poll. I've I've seen like probably a dozen different polls. I, I'd say dozens, probably a low number. Probably good thirty or thirty or forty polls that I've done. Other Reds, other Redskins fans have done that. I think Washington Post has done. Um, so on and so forth, and all of them are like it's Red Wolves are winning by a mile on all of them except for like one or two, and then one or two like they're they're behind by like one or two points, and I think a lot of those votes came really early in the naming process before like Red Wolves actually caught steam, and so all the other ones are like more recent from fans voting, um, but. Yeah, that's my video. Like I said, I'm not going to comment on the sexual assault allegations and the sexual harassment and those things. We got rid of the people who were doing those things. So apparently there's a story about Jay Green and, and Capri Bibbs. Like I said, I'll go over more of that stuff whenever there's more information. Uh, I don't want to comment too soon. I don't want to like overreact or underreact. I'm going to react just enough right now that, like, you know what, I'm looking into it. I'm concerned about it. It's hor If it's true, it's horrible. If it's not, I really don't want to spread lies. That's the thing. Um, and also, I don't believe for a second that Dan Snyder paid off refs. If he paid off Snet refs, they better give the money back. Because some of the refs, some of the refereeing has been horrible in our games. Just absolutely horrible um and if he's paying them off and they're still calling some bullshit plays and bullshit penalties he needs to get his money back if he's paying off refs i i doubt very seriously dan snyder being a shrewd businessman i'm pretty sure the other things that would I'm, i believe those things i don't believe he's paying off refs if that's the case why do you stop paying off at one or two when he can keep paying more and we can actually win games you know, the juice has to be worth the squeeze. I said, like, like the, the, for example, and this doesn't bother me at all, the quote-unquote cheating that the Patriots do, but I think Bill Belichick steps, like, stretches the rules as far as he can, and what's the payoff? He's won six Super Bowls. So there's a there's a, a yin and a yang, get the take, to doing those things, and I think it's paid off for some for them. And I think if Dan Snyder's paying off referees but won't go all the way to do other things to make sure we win, I think it's just really stupid. And I don't believe he's done that. I don't. I believe if he was going to go all out and do all those things, he'd do a lot more to win those games. Um, if he could. And not get in trouble for it. So, I want to thank everyone for watching. This has been Redskins Rant. I want to tell you all hail to the Redskins. And um, please uh, follow me on Twitter. My, name is, my Twitter handle is at... Redskins Ranter. There will be a link, probably not in this video, probably my next one, because I'm actually on vacation, like I said, and I don't have right now the ability to uh, post it on there. I probably can, I just don't know how. Um, <laughs> uh, but I want to thank everyone for watching. Hail to the Redskins, and have a good one. See ya.